Hey what's up guys, this is Kazooie here and welcome to episode 7 of Skilling to Glory and in today's episode we're gonna build a complete new team around the new 5 star skiller that is Mutuma because in the previous episode we managed to unlock all the 5 challenges that we did have to complete in order to get a new 5 star skiller so yeah we're gonna make a new team around Mutumba and he is a uh, left uh, left mid as a default position but we're gonna use him as a left wing in the 4-3-3 false 9 formation it's one of my favorite formations this year on ultimate team so I decided to give it a go and see what it will be like with Mutumba in the side as well so the team is basically built around uh, a lot of the Swedish league players because yeah we do have to link up Mutumba of course in order to get him on a full chemistry or nine chemistry so we did get a couple players from the from the Swedish league but the main players are pretty much from the Serie A because they have a lot of four star skills as you can see uh, we picked up a uh, Mike Cell, former five star skiller we picked up another former five star skiller that is Fat Fat Sidious he moved to the Serie A which is pretty nice hopefully he will be uh, he will be as good as he used to be um, yeah we're gonna pick up a uh, Mutuma as you can see for 350 coins his default position is a left mid but we picked him up as a left wing because um, like I said we're gonna use the false nine uh, formation so we also picked up Borges who links nicely up with him he's actually a pretty decent a pretty decent center mid with three star skills so hopefully he will uh, perform well, uh, we also picked up a couple of chemistry styles because uh, most players were in the basic chemistry styles of course and uh, yeah I do prefer playing with chemistry styles on players uh, mainly the the two ones that upgrade two uh, two uh, stats for, such as the defending or heading with the sentinel card because then you actually feel a difference um, when you use the three ones I don't really feel a difference so yeah we're gonna move on to the team we also picked up a manager as you can see to get some players on 10 chemistry but yeah on goal we do have Hanson six foot one Pretty tall, pretty decent goalkeeper. He was pretty much my only choice to link up with this guy, Carlson. He has uh, 78 pace, 70 defending, 68 heading, which is a bit of a letdown. But beside him, we do have this guy, Emerson, with a 79 defending, 78 heading, and also 68 pace, which isn't too bad. Picking up for uh, 42k. Which is pretty decent as well. Then we have Cavanda. He's actually from Belgium. So hopefully he will get a, a Belgian card next year. With a 90 pace as you can see. Uh, left back is Ricordinho. Nothing really special to be fair. Uh, centre mid is Borges. Overall nice looking card. Uh, Allen as centre defensive mid. With 76 pace. Uh, 75 defending. And also 75 dribbling. Then alongside him we do have Michael Sell. Former 5 star skiller like I said. And he was amazing on FIFA 12. If not one of my favourite players on FIFA 12 actually. Um, he was non rare. So he was very very cheap uh, then right wing would have fat facetis used to play for olympiakos on fifa 13 i do believe still um used the five star skimmers as well i actually think he was a center attacking mid back then if not then correct me but i think he was but yeah uh, center forward you have paulinho and i decided to go with him as a center forward instead of mike Cassell because he has slightly better finishing and then moving on to the left wing pretty much the main player of this team mutumba i'm so looking forward to play with this guy with the five star scale moves four star a week with high attacking and a low defensive work rate so yeah we'll see how he will work out with 77 dribbling as well the 70 pace is pretty decent but the 77 dribbling is going to be uh, very very good for the skill run so yeah that is pretty much the team guys we're gonna we're gonna go into to our first game but um, before we do that we're gonna pick up new kits and the home kit is from Botafogo from the Brazilian League and you can actually see that this file actually got a little bit corrupted as you can see was uh, my Elgato acting up unfortunately but uh, yeah that is the home kit and as a wake up we're going to use the home kit from Hoffenheim from the Bundesliga so that is pretty much sorted after that we went into an online single match to play our first game with this team and we're going to see how it works out so we go into a game and we come up against this guy and he had a pretty strong team and also a pretty nice looking team with a lot of four star skillers as well with the pie in from uh, Lacazette and also that right wing guy I'm not really sure what his name was but it's him starting off the game here getting a shot and goes inside the post unfortunately for him uh, he doesn't get the goal then in the 40th minute he does get a goal he picks it up here with the pipe goes through with Lacazette he gets a shot in gets saved by my goalkeeper and then he gets a volley and a crazy volley with the pie and he shoots it into the far corner as you can see the first half we play we played absolutely terrible so yeah we move on into the second half we get the ball in Mutumba a nice uh, one two pass there with uh, with Paulinho a drag back to get past one player there inside the box we take a shot there but his goalkeeper saved it and then in the 66 minute he picks up a corner and he heads it in and he makes it 2-0 and that is pretty much how the game ended we didn't really create many chances as you can see as well we only picked up like five five shots on target which weren't really the best shots so yeah we move on and as you can see we uh, we sold on a couple of players from the previous squad that we used uh, in this series and we also list up the remaining players that we haven't sold on yet so once again we move on to an online single match which will be the last game of this episode and we apply a contract quickly 
to Borregas and also to Emerson and uh, Fitness Card and uh, we were ready to go to play another game and we come up against this team only 61 chemistry but he had a lot of uh, Italian players in his, uh, in his side as you can see so he's probably gonna make a Italian side or something but yeah in the 15th minute we get the ball out with Fat Fat Cedis. we get past one defender with a fake shot we cut inside with a burrow spin we pass it off to Paulinho who uh, does a dummy we cut inside the box with some step overs and I actually thought I would pick up a penalty but it was a free kick so we step up for it we lay it off to Paulinho he shoots and he scores and he makes it 1-0 in the 17th minute to give us a lead then the 21st minute is Mutumba time with the skill moves as you can see getting past a lot of the defenders with this 70 pace which is an absolute lie because it definitely feels way more than that probably in the 80s or something but yeah we keep going with a cheeky turn a scoop turn and we shoot it into the bottom right hand corner to make it 2-0 a lovely goal there by Mutuma to get his first goal of the five goals that we have to score in order to complete the challenge so yeah moving into the 24th minute we get the ball with Paulinho goes on a bit of a run we get quite lucky there with the last defender we cut inside the box with a fake shot to some step overs we get a shot and his goalkeeper saves it and then the end he kind of tried to clear the in panic but you can see it's coming already he decided to rage quit which means that the game doesn't really count uh, for the, the 10 games that we have to play in order to complete the challenges so we do have nine games left but we did score a goal with Mutuma which means that we only have to score four more goals in order to complete the challenge but yeah guys we haven't really completed any challenges yet so hopefully we can do that in the next episode which most likely will be out tomorrow so yeah guys that is pretty much the end of the episode hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like it would be very much appreciated and if we can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye